Welcome to The Late Show, everybody, all of our viewers and listeners around the world. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Thanksgiving is just... Thanksgiving is just, just right around the corner. But impeachment is still the big story. So big, in fact, that this year, at the parade, the transcript of Trump's Ukraine call is going to be one of the balloons. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... You got to you got to imagine this thing will not go away. It looks like it's going to head to an impeachment vote. You mm -hmm. know this has got to be stressful for Trump. Mm -hmm. So this afternoon he welcomed in an emotional support animal, Conan the hero dog from the Al Baghdadi raid. <laughs> I'm surprised. It was a good welcome. It was very nice. He treated the dog well, but I'm surprised he did not give Conan his famous sports team welcome because a dog is really the only one who truly appreciate a table of cold hamburgers. <laughs> No. Trump made sure to treat Conan like a hero. We just gave Conan a, a medal and a plaque. And it, it's really... Uh, and I actually think Conan knew exactly what was going on. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, Conan knew exactly what was going on, which is why the dog has released the memoir, Appalling. <laughs> My rough time in the Trump White House. He's not a good boy. My Conan T. Hero Dog. <laughs> then it became obvious Trump didn't know what type of dog Conan is. I learned a lot about this particular type of dog. A dog that is very, very special. And we could maybe say, Mike, come on over. Maybe you want to say something about the type of dog. They're very hard to get, this particular dog, this type of dog, exactly, because it's a certain type of dog. I love this type of dog. It's a... It's a special type, a... a certain type. It's my third favorite after hot and corn. Oh, Wait, does chili snap. count? Does chili? <laughs> and is... Is a hot dog a sandwich? That's the question. Trump even mentioned the special treatment they gave Conan at the White House. Conan did a fantastic job, and uh, we're very honored to have Conan here and to have given Conan a certificate and an award that we're going to put up in the White House. Yes. We also gave Conan a begging strip. We're keeping that at the White House, too, because I ate it. You know, <laughs> it really does taste like bacon! Bacon, 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 bacon. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Deville. Now, Congress's impeachment inquiry uh, has taken the week off. I assume to spend more time dividing your family, but <laughs> what's important? Uh, still, plenty of Ukraine news. I'll catch you up on in tonight's Don and the Giant Impeach. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, things are not going well. Uh, one of the great things about watching the rule of law crumble around you is all the <laughs> interesting people we've met along the way. Okay. None more interesting than Rudy Giuliani's Ukrainian buddies, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman, aka Tweedledee and Tweedle gonna take your thumb. <laughs> on Friday, <laughs> on Friday? It was just Friday. On Friday, we learned that Parnas has some dirt on ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee and man seen here with his only friend, Chair, <laughs> Devin Nunes. According to his lawyer, Parnas is ready to testify to Congress that, in late 2018, Nunes flew to Vienna to meet with disgraced former Ukrainian prosecutor Viktor Shokin to get dirt on Biden. So, according to Parnas, the top Republican investigating whether Trump tried to get dirt on Biden tried to get dirt on Biden. <laughs> it reminds me of the children's classic, Nancy Drew and the case of the man murdered by Nancy Drew. <laughs> now, <laughs> take the first Biden. I got red hair. It'll work. <laughs> it's all over red. Red bone. Now, the Daily Beast and CNN broke the story. When CNN asked Nunes for comment, he said, to be perfectly clear, I don't acknowledge any questions from you in this lifetime or the next lifetime. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Snap. Did you hear that, CNN? <laughs> In his next lifetime, you will not be getting any answers from Nunez when he is reincarnated. <laughs> now, because of the thing. I want to point out that these are just allegations. We don't know whether Nunez actually went to Vienna is what I've been told to say by CBS's lawyers. <laughs> because when Nunez finally did comment, he threatened to sue the journalists involved, lying, these demonstrably false and scandalous stories published by the Daily Beast and CNN are the perfect example of defamation and reckless disregard for truth. And I ought to know, because I'm the LeBron James of recklessly disregarding the truth. <laughs> In fact, I am LeBron James. That's your play for Cleveland. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, to prove the story is false, Nunez went on with Maria Bartiromo and almost answered a question. Bottom line, were you in Vienna with Shokin? Yeah, so look, Maria, uh, I really want to answer all of these questions, uh, and I promise you I absolutely will come back on the show and answer these questions. Methinks he doth not protesteth enough. <laughs> it's a simple question, D. Noons. Did you go to Vienna or not? Not answering does not make you look innocent. That's like a husband coming home at 3 a.m., and his wife asks, is that lipstick on your collar? Bottom line, are you cheating on me? And he replies, so look, honey, I really want to answer all these questions. <laughs> And I promise you, I will come back and answer them just as soon as this shirt comes back from the cleaners. <laughs> now, according, according, come on, man. Infidelity. <laughs> no, they're not me, wow. they are. <laughs> according to Parnas's lawyer, uh, Nunes' Vienna trip happened late November, early December 2018. Now, in a totally unrelated story, in 2018, Nunez claimed expenses for a four-day trip to Europe between November 30th and December 3rd. <laughs> Abracadumdum. <laughs> How stupid do you have to be to file expense reports on a crime? All right, give me all the money in the vault, and could you validate my parking? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you need to see ID. Hold on, I got... <laughs> 